Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today on Nurburgring Blast, well, actually, last week on Nurburgring Blast, we had the uh, Mercedes-Benz CLQ GTI. As you know, I'm a massive fan of GT1 regulations of the mid-90s. And that did a really impressive seven, uh, no, 604 on the Nurburgring. And recently in the shop, as you'll see here, came available the current F1 GTR. So let's see how this goes. Do you think it's gonna be faster or slower? So without going forwards on the video, put in the comments down below where you say faster or slower than the CLK GTR, and then we'll go and find out. Let's get to it. Right, McLaren F1 GTR versus Nürburgring. Right, final corner, second gear. A lot of understeering second gear. Right, cross the line. Here we go. Straight back on the brakes hard, braking down to second, get that nose in on the power. Second gear is a spiky gear in this car, will try and kill you, but listen to this V12. Oh yes, that just sounds fantastic. BMW V12 in the back of this McLaren. An angry kind of sounding V12. Oh yes. Second gear can be quite spiky in this car unless you keep it in a quite a straight line. Right, flat out. This is the second time we have recorded this as the microphone failed on the first attempt. Right, flat out over the flung plats, flat out over the crest there, and up to sixth already. Pulling 280, 290 kph. Right, Schriedenkreutz, is it flat? Yes, it is, just about. Hard on the brakes, all the way down to second. Short shift to third, just because top of second gear will try and kill you. Flat out through the through the foxholes, down the hill. See how this compares to the 604 that the Mercedes CLK GTR did. Dabber brakes, up over the rear rise, down a couple of gears, and then hard on the brakes. Second gear for this chicane. There you go, you can see the understeer there. Oh, car wanted the light up, but the rear's coming off the kerb in second. God, it flies through the gears. Dapper brakes, get the nose in. Right, there we go. Don't really want to go down to second for this corner, but go and have to. As well as this corner here, downhill braking. Get that nose in. Careful on the accelerator, there we go. Gonna go flat out through this chicane there we go and then down to miss it miss a little bit deep there lost a lot of time there Should really went into the wrong gear as well right so it's corner on the track understeer straighten up the exit as much as possible dare to get on the power right second entry into the Nurburg ring let's get the nose in try and stay away from that curb there we go there we go, oh, the rear wanted to go then. Right, flat out towards the Louder King, up through the gears. This car has amazing high speed stability and cornering. Really likes high speed corners. Just tempted with second gear through that corner there. Man, we've got a good exit up the hill. This is all gonna help us all the way up this hill. Already up into fifth. I'm trying to pop. Pick the line of least resistance through here. Sixth, car still pulling, 280 kph on its way to 300. Bravery corner, here we come. Gonna lift, down one gear, back on the power. Oh yes. Right, flat out, back up to sixth, and then we're gonna be braking for the first section of the carousel section. Again, second gear, look at the understeer there. Right, into the carousel. Tricky corner in this car. Brake all the way down to second, just try and keep her in here. You can see the understeer. Oh, car scrabbling for grip on the exit there. Right into the roller coaster section. Let's see how the McLaren F1 GTR does through here. Dab a brake as we enter. Up over the rise, down to third. Gonna hold third through here. Don't really wanna go down to second, a bit wider the apex there. Right, Vipperman, in we go. Oh yes, use the kerb on the right side there. 
Getting a bit of understeer there in the slower speed corners. Down the hill we go now. Come on. Gonna dare for second gear. We're gonna try it. Ooh. Brunchen. Second gear exit. Oh, yes. Taming that second gear now. Right, here we go into a couple of jumps. Let's see how the car responds to this. This is where the CLK slapped the floor. A similar sort of slap for the McLaren up over the rise. There we go. Up to fifth. Oh, the car jumped there. Flew to the side. But I don't think it jumped quite as much as the Mercedes did. Flat out through the Stefan Beloff S there. Down two gears. Right, baby carousel coming up. My least favourite corner there on that left. Now baby carousel. We'll try second. Oh, probably should have taken it in third off. Could not get on the power confidently there. Right. As we go on to Dottinger her. Get on the power. Use all that V12. Wow. That was eventful. So we're aiming for the 604 of the Mercedes CLK GTR. I feel like this car's slightly faster in the high speed stuff a bit more stable um, but then I feel it lacks in the low speed compared there for the Mercedes right that's nearly 300 kph we might get it on the uh, downhill section there we go there's 300 kph flat out here we go gonna have to spot our braking zone just there oh a bit of understeer there oh and then the second gear oversteer Lost a bit of time there. And again, the understeer. Right, head for the line. Oh. Wow, that's across the line. So there goes the ghost. Should we go and find out what kind of time we did? A 6.02. So that is two seconds faster than the CLK GTR. Um, so I think that's, in fact, it's almost a 6.03. So there's only a second difference. So that shows they're really closely compared. Uh, on this game in GT7 so I think I might even do an extra video where we put them side by side and see what the differences are and where the cars make up their times but I really enjoyed this and I hope you did too and if you did give it a thumbs up and a like and a subscribe if you really like it and want to see more if not just put a comment in the comments down below give it a thumbs down and let me know how I can do it better in the future until then goodbye